Cushendun Old Church is a fine example of ecclesiastical rural architecture, but it was on the buildings at risk register until Cushendun Building Preservation Trust came to the rescue. The Cross Community Group applied for funding and restored the B1 listed red sandstone building. The restoration also opened it up to the whole community for education, weddings and other events. We are standing in Cushendun Old Church, which is a former Church of Ireland church. It was built around the 1840s, 1850s. It ceased to become a church in 2003 when it was deconsecrated. In 2006, we formed a community group, the Cushendun Building Preservation Trust, with a view to saving this old building. We're only 100 metres from Cushendun Beach and 100 metres in the other direction from the village. So to allow this building to become a ruin and fall apart, it would be unacceptable. So having no money and no experience, we clubbed together as a community group and negotiated a lease from the Church of Ireland. We had a small flat-roofed vestry building, which was more of a roping room uh, on the, the end of the, the wing, and it had to come away. The ceiling was too low to become of any use, and it was starting to crumble and deteriorate. And we now have this fabulous stained glass window, which was external and suffered weather damage, unfortunately a bit of vandalism over the years and we're now able to protect it. The new extension is actually double height. The floor was lifted, the stonework and the, the woodwork was all completely taken out and an underfloor heating system installed and we now have an eco-friendly uh, air sourced heat pump. There was no running water or proper electricity supply here and we're now sitting nice and cosy with underfloor heating and high-speed broadband. And We are trying to put a big emphasis on community use. Uh, there is no other hall this size, um, probably between Ballycastle 12 miles to the north and Carnlock 12 miles in the other direction. The old church is a very important building in Cushendon. It provides a community focus which was lost when other buildings, the Bay Hotel, 25 years ago disappeared. You know, the parish hall is gone. And we're providing a core facility for people. There's Tai Chi classes, there's arts classes, there's children's uh, playgroups during the summer. Cushendon is a National Trust village. The church is an important part of Cushendon. If the church isn't being used, if it's sitting there empty, it actually takes something away from the village as a whole. And it's providing an amenity that just isn't there but provides a social core for village life. Yeah, like when you take away the, the faith part of any church organisation, it is there to serve the community uh, at its core, and it was important to keep that tradition of the building to be now open it up and invite everybody into the space.